everyone. I am eating kiwis today in this video. Well, I have like eight. And I realised like ten minutes ago they're um, out of date tomorrow and I... We don't put up with waste here, no. It's just not British. One who wastes, one wastes all. Oh, I've got it all down me. Um, I don't really care if I get the shits from this. It's just... My soul won't let me throw them away. Um... Okay, so I know I have a tendency to talk quite a lot. I, I can't believe in my beauty videos, like, I only talk about, like, five products and my favourites. And that takes me, like, 11 minutes. Like, most people fit in, like, 20 products in that time. <laughs> I don't really understand how to do it. So I'm not going <laughs> to, I'm not going to answer all these questions, but I am going to answer some of them. Okay, let's start with, let's start with the most important one, the one I'm supposed to be answering. Um, what makes you happy? Okay, I was actually talking about this today. Me and my friend from English were having like a proper, like, really deep conversation about why we like English. And I swear, like, I was in this master's meeting today, and they were talking about adding to knowledge. And, like, um, um the, what, the phrase is contributing to knowledge. Okay, and you know, I have no idea how much that word excites me. Like, contributing to knowledge. I love the fact that it's not like that anybody in the whole of history was, like, stupider or cleverer than another person i'm probably not being very articulate right now which isn't convincing you that i'm in the clever half of the population but like everyone everyone has the same oh which amazes me that our brain capacity hasn't actually changed that much over like a considerable amount of time and nobody's like clever or stupider well with within reason um anyone else who's ever lived in you know the foreseen last two thousand years but it's more like we've advanced because we've built on other people's knowledge and like you like your learned kind of practices and the things you accept as true like gravity and stuff like other people didn't accept that and and it's just kind of like this kind of added pyramid thing of knowledge and i think that's really cool so um what makes me happy is the thought of adding to knowledge or like finding out stuff that other people haven't found out not in a selfish like oh look at me kind of way but more in a kind of like i want to add to this massive like encyclopedia of stuff that people have been working on since they like discovered how to use fire or whatever like when when i think of an essay question that hasn't been written about before that makes me really happy and that's so sad i know but genuinely at the moment that's that's the happiest i've I like that that's the thing that makes me happy like when I was at school, being in plays really made me happy. Like, I actually played Mrs. Twit in the Twits once, and that made me so happy. But I don't think it would anymore. I think what makes you happy changes, and at the moment, English and research makes me really happy. Oh, yeah, what is your favourite book? Wicked. I'll link a video below and talk about Wicked all day. And actually, I'll let you into a little secret. I am doing my dissertation on Wicked. How exciting is that? Do you like where you're living? I like this question. I genuinely don't think i would challenge you to upload a video that proves to me that you live somewhere more beautiful than where i live okay you do your video and i'll do my video i i just i guarantee i'll win like i we have one of the biggest starling flocks um in europe um and if you don't know starlings are the really small birds that um when they gather together before they rest they they like nest at night before they gather and if you don't know starlings are the small little birds that um they uh, gather together before they nest at night and um, we have like thousands of hundreds of thousands of possibly maybe a million i don't even know i'm gonna have to look up the stats about that but a lot of starlings all kind of like um nest under the pier by the sea that like live like the seas like there and um yeah every single night during these kind of months thousands of them gather and they make these swirling patterns in the air and they kind of follow each other and they swoop and they make all these patterns in the air and it's just wow and like every morning when i walk up the hill because i like our university is on a massive hill um but yeah when you get to the top of the hill and you can look over the whole of aberystwyth and kind of cove it's in you can see the sea and it's just like living on this on the edge of the earth and it's just so even though it's so small and secluded like you can really contextualize yourself here do you know what i mean like you can you can be like i'm on the edge of the world and this is how small i am and this is this is like you like i don't know like living in the city which is obviously where i grew up and stuff i live in the, like coventry is the ninth biggest city in the uk i think and it's really hard to remember how small you are or how big you are or really anything to do with you apart from in relation to other people in other buildings and i don't enjoy that i love living somewhere like if you could live anywhere else, where would you live? Um, I would live... I don't know. I really like visiting places. And I, like... I, I'd, I'd look forward to visiting places for an extended amount of time. 
like I'd love to live somewhere for like say three months six months but ultimately Britain's my home like I'm staying you guys can come join me that's that'd be great OMG or like me and Jess will just stay where we are and the other three of you can migrate that'd be awesome um but yeah I love Britain I'm an advocate for Britain I love America I don't really do and I assume I'd really really love Australia but I like the way we do things here and that's just the way it is within Britain I really love Edinburgh I love Edinburgh like I practically I used to visit there like four times a year because a lot of my family live there I feel like I grew up in Edinburgh I know I didn't I can't really lay claim to that where else do I love I really like Sheffield when I went actually Sheffield's really nice and I love that it's in the Peak District in fact I really like the Peak District in general the Peak District's beautiful the Lake District is also lovely I don't really I don't really have a need to live anywhere south like I know everyone's like AMG I'm totally gonna retire to Cornwall and Cornwall's like if you don't live in the UK like Cornwall's the bottom the little leg at the bottom that's where everyone goes on holiday it is really nice I've been on holiday there loads of times but it's a bit too exotic for me like I don't know sometimes you you, you acclimatize the rain I enjoy being a constant state of dampness as a British person this one is a really um interesting one that I thought I'd like quite like to answer what is the answer to life the universe and everything mm, um <laughs> tell you a funny story about this that I'm just gonna summarize yeah okay about 14 15 I was a really massive Christian and I know there's loads of different types of Christian but seriously the type of Christian I was I thought I had the answers and even if I thought that I was connected to somebody who thought they had the answers, I, I had to realise I only thought that, I didn't know that. And I think one of the things that you can be most happy and comfortable in and proud of as a human is knowing that you don't know the answer to the universe, the world and everything. Like, that recognition and being comfortable in that recognition enough to live your life and contribute to other people's lives, I think is great. And I, um, even though people, uh, even though, like, maybe some of the Christian youth workers I used to work with, they probably say I have now lost my way I'm like there isn't a way and if there is a way the way is not knowing like you can believe things and I completely respect that and I believe a lot of things but I don't know anything and that is what I have learnt maybe <laughs> okay and lastly do you know where your towel is yes do you know where my towel is good because that would be creepy okay, not really it's on the back of my door and it's a spongebob one and it's completely unabsorbent i figure like what's the point in having an absorbent towel when you open the door and get barricaded by like 18 tons of welsh rain every morning like what's really the point in a towel just tell me that so i finished my kiwis i'm probably gonna have the squids now so can rest safe in the knowledge that i haven't wasted any of the world's resources and uh, I've been appreciative of my first world um, privileges yeah. yeah and I really really like kiwis I hope you enjoyed that at the time of recording this video I've only seen Jess's um, but I did enjoy it and I'm, I'm, I'm glad your childhood was good Jess I'm, I'm enjoyed I'm, I'm, I'm overjoyed by that I'm overjoyed but yeah I look forward to seeing everybody else and I 